Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. So by far our most requested video is to do a full Xenon retrofit on the F30. The only problem for me and for a lot of the people watching is it costs about $3,000 to get the parts new. There's a lot of coding required and it's just something that can be a little bit more difficult. So instead what we decided to do is partner with Unique Style Racing to show you how to install their depot lights. Not only are these less than a quarter of the price of the actual Xenon lights, but if you use coupon code KEYSMS, that's K-I-E-S-M-S, they'll also give you an additional 10% off. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to get an eight millimeter socket and just feel around right in here. Um, this is always going to be much easier if you can go ahead and cut the wheel. Um, if you cut the wheel one way, you should be able to get it off. Okay, so again, that's just an eight millimeter. So once, once you get the one that's right about here, what you wanna do is just go ahead and get the one that's straight up. Okay, so it's a little bit longer. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and press this plastic in here. Get your drill. And there's another one. Okay. So once you get that one out, what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and, and pop this out. Uh, if th There's these little tabs in here that kind of keep it in place. So you always want to make sure that you, you pull that out before you can pull the bumper off. Now if your car has fog lights, mine has fog lights, what you want to do is just pry this open, reach in, and then you can either just unplug the bulb or what I like to do is actually just remove the entire bulb so that you don't have to worry about that at all. It's a little bit tight. Okay, so just go ahead and twist that bulb. And just pull it out. Now go do this exact same thing to the other side. Eight millimeter bolt here, through. Then again, you wanna just get this plastic, move it out of the way. And the other bolt is right about here, that screw. So just go ahead and There we go. And then again, remember, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you pop this out because otherwise it's not, your bumper is not going to come off when we go to get to that point. Okay, so now what you want to do is just go ahead and grab your, your weather stripping at the end. Just pull it up. And this will expose all of the different uh, Torx bits. All right, so now what you want to do is go ahead and take your drill again to get a, a T30 bit and you're going to remove all of the inner ones. So just go ahead and do that. Okay, and then what you want to do is go ahead and take a T25 bit. Swap that out. And remove the two end ones. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna jack your car up, unless you're small enough to slide under it without it. Make sure that you always use a jack stand and a chalk under the, the rear um, tire. And what we're going to do is we're going to go underneath here and there's going to be two different types of fasteners. The first is a plastic fastener. So basically it has this middle portion. You pull the middle portion out and then you can pull the rest of the fastener out. Now, because I have an aftermarket lip on my car, when I went to reinstall it, these weren't long enough, so I had to use different screws. So in addition to these, you're going to go, go under and you're also going to find more of these, the eight millimeter um, screws that are gonna hold it onto the bottom. So now what you wanna do is go under your car and all along the perimeter and go ahead and take out all the fasteners that look like this and also all of the eight millimeter bolts. Okay, so once you've done that, again, just make sure that you go ahead and release the left and the right side. And then make sure that your, your fog lights are disconnected. And just go ahead and just 
pull it straight off and set this to the side. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with this bolt right here. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a T30 bit. So what I also did is I just popped out this little panel. It just goes behind here. It's how you access your lights normally. So on the other side of here, you're going to be able to see uh, there's a, a white plastic clip that holds a wire. So just go ahead and release that. Okay, so now what you want to do is go ahead and take your drill. To try to maneuver it around my tire. Line everything up the best you can. Okay, and that bolt should come right out. Here you are. Okay, so the next one is just to the right of this one so it's about right here and i'll show you that uh, a little bit better but what what you want to do again if you want to use a drill just go ahead and, and press down on this plastic just to pop it down in the wheel well and what you're going to need you're going to need an extension if you don't already have one it's going to have to be pretty long again with a t30 and what you can do is go ahead just carefully twist your drill in here okay here you can see my drill let's go ahead and Line that up. Okay, so if yours, if your nut here is spinning, it's not being held in by that piece of metal. What you could do is just go ahead and I'm going to use a, a pair of uh, small vice grips just to make sure that we can get a good bite. And again with my drill. Okay, so once your pliers are on there, you can go ahead and use your drill and remove that. that bolt okay the next bolt we need to get out is a 10 millimeter and it's right down here where my finger is so I'm going to again just use a drill for as much of this as I can And for this one, what I did is I did a, a pretty long extension and then just a swivel on the end and I was able to pretty easily get to it. Okay, for the last one, what I'm going to do is just have these Torx keys. These, these work really good. Um, they're a little expensive, but they're definitely worth having, especially when you have an area like this that's a little too tight to get in with the drill. So once you get to this point, you can just go ahead and just very carefully pull it out. There's another, um, it's this white plastic piece that plugs into the bottom. And that just makes sure that it's right here, if you can see it, uh, it just holds all the wires together. And just go ahead and press on both sides and remove that, that main harness. We can go ahead and get our light, put that to the side. We get our new awesome depot light. Uh, it has some protective film on it. So at this time I'm just going to go ahead and, and take that off. Go ahead and just plug that in. Okay, so after you plug it in, there's, there's, they put tape over the, the new um, nuts here. So just go ahead and take that off. And what you can do, just go ahead and Line everything up. Slide everything in. Okay, so it's always best to start with this top one here because this will hold everything in place. And again, when you're when you're taking the light off, it's good to leave that one for last. Okay, so now what you want to do is go ahead and take that 10 millimeter bolt and then we're going to make sure that's all lined up. So 
and twist it in. Okay. So then you can install that. Okay, so go ahead and line line this screw up. Make sure that you press it on a little bit. Okay. Okay, so now we're down to our last bolt. Remember with this one, you wanna put an extra extension on there. So let's go ahead and, and do this one now. All right, so once you line that up. All right, so once you're all done, the passenger side, go on to the driver's side. Um, the one thing you will note is the driver's side, it's, it's a lot harder to get tools in here, so I did actually have to go and take the wheel off. So let's get started. All right, so bolt number two on the bottom is a little difficult. What I did is I, I just pulled down some more of this plastic and I really just leaned into it just to make it flex so I could get my driver in there. Um, you can get it, it's just really difficult. If you have an, one of those air tools where it's a 90 degree and it's, it's much shorter than this right here, it's going to be a lot easier. Um, doing it with hand tools is going to be really difficult just to kind of give you a little heads up. Alright, so at this point both lights are fully installed and look amazing. Um, what we're going to do now is just go ahead and throw the bumper back on. So to put it back on, all you want to do is be careful not to uh, scratch your new lights. Just go ahead and set it just like that. Um, on the top here, there are some clips. I'll show you what they look like. What you want to do is you want to just go ahead and slide the bumper under those. Okay, so after you've slid your bumper on, what you want to do is make sure that uh, this part of the bumper goes in this little groove of the headlight. Same on the other side. Then what you want to do is you want to find your, your T25. Just want a light light setting. Go ahead and put that one in. Then take the T25 from the other side. Do the same thing. Then you can swap it out for the 30. Just go ahead and install the rest of these. 
any of your clips slid at all, you just want to pop them back on. Then what you want to do is get your weather stripping and just try to find the middle and start at the uh, BMW emblem. Work your way to one side and it just pops on, just press it down and it'll clip into place. If it's a little longer on one side, you could just kind of shimmy it back a little bit, reposition it. Okay, so that's good. So now what you want to do is you'll see these little prongs sticking out at the bottom of the light. You want to just very carefully guide your bumper on top of it. And just press in. And then go ahead and do the same to the other side. All right, so once you've done that, what you want to do is go ahead and, and reinstall your longer screws, the, the eight millimeters and then just go ahead and put all of the remaining eight millimeter screws back in on the inside of the trim. All right, so at this point, as you can see, everything is fully installed and fully functional. They look amazing. That's just really the end of it for, for the amount of savings that you can have with these lights over going with the traditional Xenon. You could do a lot more with your car. Uh, again, use Keys, it's K-I-E-S-M-S -S, as a coupon code for the link in the description and save an additional 10% on yours. Thanks again. Have a great day.